Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're taking a look at 3D Studio Max 2021.2 and this is the most recent update release to the 2021 product. And today we will be seeing some improvements that has been done for the modeling side of things. So with 3D Studio Max 2021.2 open, we would start off by talking about the smart extrude now the smart extrude is one feature that makes sense i love the fact that it's now here for 3d studio max and of course a whole lot of max users will find this very interesting this is something that we've seen from sketchup and it's also good to see that this was also something that has made its way to blender and now we are seeing this in 3d studio max so what i'm talking about is if you have an object like this box selected so let's go ahead and grab this if you right click and set this to an editable poly you can select a single face and with this right now if you simply hold down shift on your keyboard click and drag you can do something like this if you would like to play with it a bit more so let's select the top hold down shift switch this to scale let's scale this inwards a little bit like so and then if we hold down shift and push this down we have that you may not really see that in action but this makes sense you know once i start doing that so this is definitely something that you may have seen from blender and and you know from sketchup as well and it just makes sense to see that we now have a lovely feature like this so you know if you would like to do some smart extruding and stuff like that you would definitely find this one very very easy and for a modeling app which you know huge base is more of hard surface modeling architecture and some very very intense modeling workflow this definitely makes a lot of sense something else which is also a very good improvement is the idea that you may now be able to use the control key to make selections instead of using the shift key and by these i'm talking about you selecting loops let's simply switch this back to object mode delete that create a simple sphere change the color to something we can appreciate then we can convert this to editable poly and continue if i simply select this and hold down control and you know make a double click this works from the documentation it says you have to click but i kind of found out that that doesn't really work that much so you have to go up through you know double click because if you do you know click and do this is what you're going to get so if you double click you will be able to select loops and you know rings like that something else which is also very interesting to see is the shift key has now been assigned to pattern sort of selection so if you simply go ahead and hold on the shift key click and you know move this around you'll be able to make some very interesting pattern selections like this and i obviously talked about this one when we talked about rocket 3f probably you've seen the video if you haven't i'm gonna put a link in the description where you can see that so you can make some pattern selections like so and i can also grab from a point like this you know hold down shift and do the same thing and this is going to be very interesting for anyone who is into creating patterns so you know you want to select a certain number of loops at a given point or you want to select a certain number of you know segments in your geometry and you could actually go in there and start making some lovely tweaks with this so with this said let's talk about one more quick cool looking update that is now here and the next one which we have to talk about is the spline so if we go here and simply switch over to where we can select splines I will simply start off by talking about the rectangular spline. So by now you probably have known or you, you know, you have the idea about what fillet is if you've been around 3D Studio Max for a while. And if you don't, what fillet is, is more like what you may kind of call chamfer or maybe bevel in some 3D apps. So how this works is relatively simple. With an object like this, you don't get to see it in action. But if we go back and select a simple line and craft this line around a point like, like so, let's click here and get rid of that. Select this part, which has to do with the modifier. Click down here, select the vertices, select any of these vertices, scroll all the way down and you're gonna find the word filler. If you would like to do that on an object like so, you would also have to simply select this, right click, convert this to an editable spline in this case, Click down here, select the vertex, select any given point, scroll all the way down as well. And then you can also choose to do that simple fillet. So this fillet feature is something that is very, very nice. We also got some chamfering that you can also do. So if I simply select that as well and choose to chamfer, we can get this sort of chamfer looking feeling. All right. So you can see that for the chamfer, it looks like a very sharp bevel. And then for the fillet, we have some sort of a smoother looking bevel feature kind of happening there. But 
right now there is something that sort of evens out the scale of you working with these two things to me i think this new feature makes a lot of sense and a lot of people would actually find this one useful so let's go in there delete this select this other one and then the feature which we're talking about is nothing more than the spline chamfer so if i select that spline chamfer you notice i have things like amount you know uh, depth biases and stuff so if i go in and start pushing the dial we can now soften the entire thing so if you're maybe animating stuff you may find this one useful despite that if you're also into modeling you are definitely going to find this one useful because you can just draw in that chamfer or the spline chamfer right there and then choose to draw in a simple chamfer like so and you have yourself something like this to work with at the same time you can do a whole lot of things with this if you're also looking at animating this stuff you can choose to animate this and we can use the depth to do stuff like so let's go ahead and increase this you can you know make things like this if you also like to play with the bias you can also use this to make some certain changes but it even gets interesting if you would like to only work with one particular section so what i mean by that is you know how we have this thing going on and you just want only one particular node to have you know that feature if you click right here and select a vertex select the particular vertex that you want scroll all the way back here and you only have that you know to deal with with this set there is also some very nice improvements and updates that are now here so if i simply pump this all the way out you can see we have roughly about five updates that is available now there is an update to the pbr mixer shader and also there is an update to the osl shader so if you want to take a look at some of these things you want to play with them you can simply go over to the link in the description meanwhile the guys from autodesk now have the indie thing available for a whole lot of other countries so the last time when we talked about this we said that this was only available for a selected number of countries and now they've gone through to kind of increase it so at this point if you want to get maya indie you want to get 3 3 max indie you now have about 46 different countries that you can apply from so if you're within somewhere like you know turkey or you're within new zealand you know australia you're within brazil mexico you can go through get this and start working with it so for 3d studio max and also maya this is you know applicable to them both so this is definitely going to be about it we just looked at the new modeling features that are now here with 3d studio max 2021.2 update and if any of them kind of interests you or you have comments about these things please put them in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace